Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Story makers. Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Milton! 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 Milton. Uh, the children today were talking about a carnival. Yes. What's a carnival? Yes, yes, I was going to ask that. Mm. Well, it's a time to dress up and celebrate. Uh, people come out into the streets and dance and have a good time. <gasps> oh, I'd mm. love to see that. Mm. No problem. Wow, look at their makeup and their hair and those amazing costumes. <gasps> oh, can you do that to me? <sighs> Jelly and her hair. Ooh. Well, I'm going to find out more about carnivals. See you later. Oh, dear. Well, now, let's see. What can we use for your costume? Um, we shall have rings and things and fine array. <gasps> oh, I'm going to look really special. But do you think we could spare one of these beautiful things to make a story? Indeed we can, my little cherub. Oh, and um, how about that hair slide? Oh. Mm, that one. Will you use your imagination and help me make a lovely story? Ready? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! Oh, Jelly, you've made a playbook! <laughs> and it's called Bobbles, Bands and Butterflies. Holly and Danielle are playing hairdressers. What would Madam like today, says Holly as she brushes Danielle's hair. How about a plait? Mmm, it's a bit tricky. I think we should have something fantastic. Yes, with clips and colourful bands and bright bubbles and beautiful butterflies. Fabulous. Hey, would Madam like some makeup today? Let's try some eye catching eyeshadow. Gorgeous glitter. Bold blusher. Oh, and don't forget the luscious lipstick. Wow. Don't we look gorgeous? Oh, they looked pretty, didn't they? Uh, they sure did, and so do you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've been finding out lots more about carnivals. Uh, all the people wear very bright clothes and they dance along in a procession. Do you want to join my procession? Oh, oh, OK, OK. Uh, I've got my colourful costume. But, Milton, you're going to need something to brighten you up a little. Mm. How's that? Oh. <laughs> One more thing. Oh. Hey, let's pretend to be in a carnival procession. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was fun. I think it's time for another story. Oh, yes. uh, can we put my fruity necklace in the story machine? <laughs> Come on. Yes, yes. <laughs> One necklace into the fruit machine. Do you want to help me with the magic words? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Cool. It's a Jack Spratt and Treacle Cat story. And it's called Carnival Time. Oh, yeah. Jack Spratt and Treacle Cat lived in a bin. A bin that people drop rubbish in. While Treacle dreams, Jack Spratt schemes. What will Jack Spratt make today? Ah, this is the best time of day. I love my lions. Nice little stretch of me town. I'll be ready to face anything that life has to throw at me. Oh, 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 watch out. Oh, 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 what on earth? I must be dreaming. No such luck, Treacle, me old mate. It's that bloke from the market again, dumping oh, all his leftovers on us. Oh, dreadful smell. It wasn't like this when I lived in Eaton Square. Eaton Square? <laughs> you only ever lived in a dustbin. Well, it was a better class of rubbish there, I can tell you, Jack. <sighs> None of this rotting fruit stuff. It'll take me ages to lick myself clean after this. Oh, I've had enough of life in a litter bin. <laughs> Cheer up, Treacle. It's not all bad. Remember, it's carnival day today. No, oh, that's all I need. Carnival time. What's a fellow got to do round here to have a decent cat nap? Mm, oh. Carnival time. All this fruit's given me an idea. Hey, Treacle, I'm going to join in the carnival. You're what? Yeah, I'm going to dress up and join in the fun. Yeah, why don't you come with me, mate? You'd make a great puss in boots. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Very funny, you cheeky rat. Go and scamper off and let me curl up in my corner. Oh, you big spoil sport. Hey, hey. carnival, here I come. Oh, cha cha cha, cha 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 cha. Carnival time indeed. Of course, there was a time in my youth when I was king of the carnival. I rumbled down in Rio with the best of them. Oh yes, they didn't call me the Moggy of Mardi Gras for nothing. Oi, Treacle, come up here and have a butcher's. I bet you ain't seen nothing like this, mate. What do you think then? Do I look the business or what? What's up, Treacle? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> Get it? Cat got your tongue. Oh, uh, yes, very funny, Jack. Well, I must admit, you look um, very... How shall I put it? Um, Rat-tastic. That's what I look like. Rat-tastic. I'm going to be the sensation of the carnival. Here, watch me shimmy on down. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha-cha. Oh, watch out, Jack. You're losing your costume. Your skirt's slipping off. Oh, Jack, be careful. Whoa! Treacle, give us your paw. I've taken another one of me nose dives, mate. Cheesy niblets. I knew it was all too good to be true. Well, you oh. certainly do look a sensation. <laughs> Don't worry, Jack. I know what you could go as. A fruit cocktail. Oh, very funny, mate. <laughs> That's what I call another perfect ending. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Jack Spratt. He never gets it right, does he? No. <laughs> he does make me laugh. He's so funny. I love Jack's back, you know. Oh, mean Milton. You did look like a scary monster. Yes, you mm. did. <laughs> it's not a monster. It's a dragon's mask. They have them in carnivals all the time. Only really, really big ones with people inside that march underneath to make them look alive. Really? Wow. I'll tell you what. I'll show you. Why don't we make our final story from this mask? Come on. All together now? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow at the Carnival. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. 
wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was thinking about what she looked like. I wonder what it would be like to dress up and look different. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can dress up, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a carnival. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. In front of her was an enormous orange dragon with huge teeth and big black eyes. Moo! said Blue Cow, leaping backwards. Oh, don't be afraid. It's only made out of paper. My name's Susie. Hello, I'm Blue Cow. The dragon will be in the carnival. Do you want to join us? Mmm, I'd love to, said Blue Cow. Susie lifted up the dragon's head. Here we are, she said, putting it on Blue Cow. moo This is fun, said Blue Cow, shaking the dragon's head. Here come the others, said Susie. They're going to be the dragon's legs. Susie and the other children picked up the body and tail and held it above them. Off we go, shouted Susie. The street was full of other people, wearing beautiful bright costumes and juggling and doing acrobatics. Turn left, shouted Susie, but Blue Cow went right. No, no, left, said Susie. Too late. They'd walked into a very muddy puddle. Ooh, sorry, said Blue Cow. Oh, yuck, said Susie. Don't worry, said Blue Cow. We'll shake the mud off as we walk down the road, like this, she said, shaking her foot. OK, laughed the children, and they shaked down the road. What a fantastic dragon dance! The best one yet, shouted people in the crowd. Well done! Maybe next year we can all dress up as a Blue Cow. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a carnival and I dressed up as a dragon. Everyone knows cows can't dress up as dragons. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> See, the dragon wasn't scary after all. No, I think carnivals are great. Oh, so do I. Mm. But mm. look, it's time to go. Oh, but that means the children will be here soon mm. and we'll be able to hear about their carnival. <gasps> yeah. Indeed we might. But the dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Thanks for helping. Bye, story makers. See you again soon.